Hi Leo, welcome back guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Leo placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles, take what resonates, see what doesn't fit. Okay, happy birthday my Leo babies. I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday season. Let's tap into your energy. Let's see what's going on with you all. 11, 11 on the clock. Okay, it just turned too. I turned my head and it turned. I saw a turn from 11, 10. <laughs> okay, but yeah. So let's see what's going on with you, Leo. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and your loved ones. Me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender, please, and thank you. Give me clear messages for Leo. What do they need to hear and know at this time? What's going on for Leo? All right, introspection came out in reverse here. It says, time and solitude, going within... Um, soul searching, reflecting on self. <laughs> Some of y'all coming out of hermit mode. Okay, I got that. Yeah, it is what it is. Surrender and release. Going with the flow. Let's see what else. Or you're just saying, fuck it, because somebody's refusing to go with them to do their work. So you're just like, okay, well, let me move on. Because... Yeah, pathway, right decision, correct course, positive things, await, road to victory. Okay, that could be confirmation for some of you guys about your path and this, the decisions that you've made thus far. Could be trying to figure out if you're making the right decision about something, but we're going to see. Logical approach, strategic, analytical mindset, carefully calculating moves, headwinds over heart. Feel like you've made the right decision about a particular person in your life that is not doing the introspection and you're trying to figure out if you made the right decision to move forward yeah you did unplug disconnecting limiting distractions social media break and going in my yeah brick wall stubborn-minded hard to get through difficult to reach and guarded yeah so let's see let's see here leo let me shuffle these a little bit. What is this um introspection in reverse? Yeah, ten of swords, eight of pentacles. What is this introspection in reverse spirit? This introspection in reverse. <laughs> the will of fortune in reverse? Okay, I say that shit tilt to the side. Let's see. What else for, <laughs> what else for introspection? Mm, Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. So, I need to go change my shirt, Leo. Give me a minute really quick, channel, because it is hot. I cannot sit like that. I am so sorry, guys, but your girl, let me see if I can just throw on one real quick. Give me, like, a minute. Or not even that. <laughs> I need to change my shirt, honey. It's too hot today. Do, do, do. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Don't beat me up. Put on this shirt. Hold on. I cannot focus when it's hot. <laughs> At all. Okay. Okay, y'all. I did it. So let's see. <laughs> let's see. I was gonna kind of like turn my fan on, but okay. Oof. Ciao. All right, let's see what's going on here. So, the Wheel of Fortune in Reverse could be dealing with a Taurus, another Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn. So, yeah, something is not turning out, like, you know, quite how you wanted it to. There's a lot of delays, setbacks. Something is chaotic here. There's, like, bad karma. This could be you being attached to somebody with bad karma. Yeah, spirit is guiding you to move forward. Yeah. To keep moving forward towards what you're destined to do here. There's a wish coming through. Something that you've manifested or you prayed for coming through here. 
Okay, I feel like you prayed for something here, but it's toxic. It's not it's not going anywhere. It's like keep being set back or delayed. So spirit is guiding you towards a new beginning. Some of you guys could be moving, relocating, traveling. But there is something that's coming through. You guys are doing a lot of healing too. You've done an introspection, it looks like to me. Okay, you're, you're going towards whatever you're destined to go towards. So let's see. Yeah, somebody is stuck. Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands. What's this Wheel of Fortune in reverse? Yeah, look, child, a bad karma. The karma is bad. What's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse with the judgment? The hangman in reverse. Mm. I feel like you're free from something. But th with the hangman in reverse, with these cards surrounding it, this is somebody here that's really... Somebody's spiritual gifts could be getting taken away from them. But this hangman in reverse talks about a negative pattern that's like on repeat. Okay, and um, this is like someone being really withdrawn from themselves. I feel like your energy here, you're detaching. Somebody's having a problem too with forgiveness. Somebody just can't forgive. They hold grudges. Mm. Someone is too withdrawn from themselves. They're not even interested in doing the work. They're not making sacrifices. Whoever this is, there's something that somebody's not letting go of. It's causing setbacks and delays. That's why you're getting something new. You're getting a replacement here. <laughs> okay. Let me write something down before I forget it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Um. Mm. Someone's impulsivity. Somebody made an impulsive decision. The hangman in reverse too. With these other cars surrounding it, it's stagnation. Somebody is stuck. There, there's just a lot going on. <laughs> um, there could have been some sort of like, um, definitely a lot of indecisiveness. Somebody lacks self-awareness. They don't even know what the, the fuck type shit this is that they got themselves into. Like, it's really all bad. But there's bad karma here. Mm. Somebody could have made an impulsive decision based off of a... Gossip with the judgment in reverse. False accusations. What is that noise? Okay. So yeah, what's this Ace of Pentacles for Leo spirit? Yeah, the tower. You avoided the tower. That's what I'm getting with this child. Aries energy with the tower. You avoided something. You averted a tower. Literally, you dodged a bullet here. What else? For the, what else, spirit? Something isn't. It was inevitable though. Maybe you didn't see it like that because you were too maybe caught up in whatever this was that was going on or what you wanted. But the tower in reverse is something was inevitably going to fall apart, and you were going to be blessed with new anyways. <laughs> What's the tower in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles? Some of you guys, okay, yeah, things are moving now for you. This could be a business opportunity coming in, more money. But I feel like whatever this is, it's solid, it's stable, it's secure, just period. Someone could have a cancer moon. Things are, are stabilizing for you here. This is you seizing opportunities now. No more missed opportunities. No more focusing on the past. More um, being optimistic here. Seizing opportunities, not feeling so overwhelmed now. It's like you avoided something. Now things are moving forward. This was gonna fall apart any part anyway, so I feel like it's just it was just gonna fall apart too, regardless. You didn't see it though. You didn't you didn't realize it. Some of you guys have lost a lot of money or something like that. But I feel like you're getting Spirit is coming in to save the day. Your money is not. If it was stagnant, I feel like it's not. Okay. What's pathway? Yep, Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Yeah, you're on your way to, for some of you, getting married, a divine connection here, a, de a, a destined 
partnership, a soulmate connection that could be coming in that's destined for you. Someone could have a Pisces Mars. Okay, what else for pathway? Ten of Cups. Seven of Wands in reverse. Surrendering, letting go. Yeah, you've let go of... I feel like you've let go of the idea. Yeah, it's heartbreaking, but you've let go of the idea of having somebody around. Like, you've seen them as your Ten of Cups, but I feel like they're just... They're not compromising with you. That's the thing. Like, on a soul level, this person, they feel familiar or they feel like they could be a part of what you want to build. And who you want to build with, you want to build with that particular person, but they're just not compromising. Like you see the potential. That's why I probably is, is like this. You see so much that could be built, but you can't force nobody to get out of their ego or change their ways or want to be with you. You feel me? That's the harsh truth. A lot of harsh truths coming out in these readings lately. <laughs> like, you know, you can't, you can't try to like push forward with somebody that's a brick wall. You can't even, you can't even... Uh -uh. but um that seven of wands is in reverse i feel like that's just surrendering that's like um somebody here losing power and authority over you Eleven twenty-two on the clock what's this ten of cups so i'm gonna have a leo mars placement yeah the hierophant in reverse what's the ten of cups with the hierophant in reverse mm -hmm. some sort of spiritual contract being broken the fool yeah some of you guys are setting your own trends here you're not, you don't go off of what societal norms are. You're a trendsetter and you don't give a fuck about the controversy, the judgment that you make behind your decisions. You break rules here. The fool and the damn hierophant in reverse. You've definitely broken free of something. Because there was some sort of negative pattern on repeat here. You and this person can have different belief systems, different backgrounds. Something about your belief system changed or is changing. I feel like you're learning to live life more carefree. Some of you guys have been too like routine or too just like things got to be one specific way. Or this was going to be one specific way. No, I feel like it's shocking <laughs> you to see that something is switching. And you didn't think it was going to be like that. Mm. Some of y'all could be going through a divorce, but I feel like a contract is like <clears throat> being broken here or severed. Ties are being severed. Something that you're getting ready to do, something takes a big risk too. It takes a huge risk. You Okay, that could be what it is too, Leo, because you're trying to figure out, man, is this the right decision? Like, Because it could be like things going on that you're just like, eh, I don't know if I like that too much or I don't know if I could deal with it. You know, like something feels odd or just awkward. It makes you feel uncomfortable, but you're going to have to take a big risk if you want to get to this Ten of Cups. It's something that you got to do. Yeah, Three of Cups, the King of Pentacles. What's the Hierophant in Reverse Spirit? Something seems really listen there's swords of queen of pentacles someone could have a libra saturn could be a capricorn here so i mean on top of the fact that you're going to have to take a leap of faith into a new beginning and just trust where you're going i mean you're still heartbroken about this past situation for some of you too Okay, definitely. I mean, there's a third party situation here. For some of y'all, I'm getting like new energy. All right, you could be with somebody that's leaving behind something too. I feel like that's what happened over here with a particular person. But then you could be moving into a new situation that requires great fortitude. Okay, or you have to push through some sort of adversity. It's, it's kind of like mirroring the other situation, but the difference is, is in the people. <laughs> The character of a person, how honest they are with you, how they maneuver is something like that, right? Like, I don't know. Something requires you to stay grounded. Hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, but that three of swords is sadness, it's heartbreak, it's pain, it's like grieving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Knight of Cups, look, the death card, you're going through a major change and transformation, transition. Okay, you could be ending something with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Pisces. Somebody could be on the Aquarius, Pisces cusp or Aquarius, Capricorn cusp. Yeah, the devil, the five of cups. Hmm, yeah, nine of pentacles, page of wands, six of cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah, something new I feel like you're doing is going to require you to take a risk. It seems risky. <laughs> My son is up now. <laughs> What's the fool? Yeah, everything is fine. That's what I'm saying. What's the fool with everything is fine card? I mean, clearly, yeah, the two of pentacles. Yeah, be open, be open, be a, be adaptable, be flexible. Find balance in whatever this is. 16, 16 on the clock, keep getting that for y'all. It's something that you have to do. You have to take a risk. And yeah, you're gonna have to push through adversity or, or cause the chariot, I mean, I feel like the chariot comes out when there's challenges that you are able to overcome or that you have triumphed over. You have overcome or overcame. The chariot talks about love winning over hate, you know? So love wins in the end. I feel like you could be maybe going into something that is gonna be challenging for you, but you're gonna be able to overcome it. You've overcame this, whatever the fuck this is, you're definitely ready for the next level. And I feel like, you know, new levels, new devils, things ain't gonna, I mean, it's gonna be easier because you heal, you know how to handle it, that's life. If people just work on like healing themselves, tougher situations are going to appear, but you're going to have the knowledge to move forward. Who I get this? I got this for you, Leo, on my Twin Flame channel. Hi, honey. Hey, mom. I'm going to get the charger. You're going to get the charger? Okay, can I have a kiss? Yeah, I'm going to do a fly hat. This is my Cancer Leo baby. Look at my baby. You can show your face. Just look down in the camera. And say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's my baby. Give me a kiss. Mm. Love you. Love you I'll too. be out to give you your breakfast in a minute, okay? Okay. So, yeah. That's my Cancer, Cancer Leo Cuss baby. He, uh, his birthday is July 19th. And he got Leo everywhere in his chart. You might as well say that he's a Leo. <laughs> okay. So, I have my favorite people around me. Oh, I go do this. I do the fault your phone you need a computer with the charger attached to it right yeah the laptop okay so yeah um so yeah i feel like this is telling you leo to stay grounded and, and adapt to these changes and they can look very odd to you something looks odd but this is, I feel like this is kind of like a test for you a little bit. Let me see who the Queen of Pentacles spirit. Give me something on the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Six of Cups. Yeah, enjoy your, yeah, Three of Cups, Two of Cups. Look, I'm telling you, it's something here. It's something. Something that's kind of like triggering your inner child or your insecurities. It's a situation here that you can't, I feel like it's unknown. You can't really see where it's headed. So you gotta, you gotta take a risk. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or has Scorpio in your chart. Definitely something heartbreaking from the past. That's that's moving away. I mean, that's clear that it that's you can't do nothing with that no more. <laughs> you just cannot. But um <clears throat> just stay in the moment with whatever this is. Keep yourself grounded. Try not to overthink and blah blah blah. Spirit is telling you that everything is okay, things are coming into balance. Watch your spending too. Don't be out here just spending like so freely. <laughs> okay. What's the seven of wands in reverse? What's the seven of wands in reverse? Hmm. Okay. Queen of swords in reverse. <clears throat> so, yeah, I feel like you're going to reassess something. It's something too that's going to get better about your communication, the way that you look at certain things. Okay. Because you could be being overly critical. 
or there's a lack of compromise here. Seven of Wands in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. You could be being like that a little bit hard to work with, okay? For some of you is what I'm getting. So just be careful with that, right? Um, Don't give up so easily on certain things. Two of Swords, the Moon, the Five of Wands, yeah, the Magician, Five of Swords. Hmm. Somebody could be like doing like confusion magic. You could be having a battle between your head and your heart too, though. But somebody around you could be doing something unethical. They're doing some magic or something like that. But I feel like this is just there's frustration. There's inner frustration. because there's a hard decision that you have to make or it's like you need to face the unknown you don't know what decision to make i feel like there's a need to listen to your intuition but when you do that there's confusion there so really really pay attention to what you're feeling you need to take time to like meditate or something to gain clarity about a situation but i feel like somebody is around you doing some shit who this queen of swords because this could be somebody that's bitter as fuck who's this queen of swords in reverse Okay, Five of Cups. Who's the Queen of Swords in reverse with Five of Cups? Five of Swords came out sideways. Hmm. Yeah, Ace of Cups. There's a new. Somebody's angry. Someone could have an Aquarius, Venus, Scorpio, Mars. Yep, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, and the Empress. That's you. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is you too. Um, <clears throat> You could definitely be a healer. You could work from home. Could be spending more time with your children or just trying to balance your work life. I mean, school is about to start and things like that. So could have things on your plate that you need to get done. But I feel like there's a need to be practical and not be so idealistic in a the situation. There needs to be balance between the two. OK, something like that that's coming up for you or your end that you're you want to know if you're in the right direction, going in the right direction. You are you surrender for some of you. You've let go of something. You surrender something with somebody because they're failing to work with you because of a queen of swords in reverse. Somebody is bitter around this person. OK, or. You could have somebody new in your life for some of you that has a lot on their plate. They could have somebody bitter around them, and that could be what the risk is. I mean, I, I feel like some a situation is mirroring the past. I ain't going to lie, but it's different from the past, though. It's, it's, it's about the person and how they're handling it, okay? Because everybody's going to have baggage or an issue, <laughs> and it's going to come in different forms, so it's up to you. But this... um. Five of Swords in reverse. I mean, Five of Swords upright with the Queen of Swords in reverse. And the Seven of Wands is giving me you're having a hard time compromising with somebody or there's a lack of compromise because of you being kind of like scatterbrained. Your emotions could be all over the place, but I feel like you're having a battle with your head right now. You're overthinking. Um, the Queen of Swords in reverse could talk about like holding a grudge too or lack of forgiveness somewhere. So maybe that, that's where you need to do introspection. But you don't want to make decisions that you're going to end up regretting. You don't want to be, I feel like you could be too overly critical. You're overly criticizing something. It could be a bit overbearing. You're needing to give, you need to open up a little bit. Two of Pentacles, be flexible. Don't, um, you could be feeling powerless. That's what it is. Like you feel, you feel like you don't have no say so in something or you feel like, you're frustrated it's like you don't really know what to do it seems like so you just you feel stuck so that could frustrate you but i feel like that's your head playing games with you so you need to get a hold of that because <clears throat> you don't want to self-sabotage you want to sabotage something that could be good because you're in your ego or operating from out of your ego so pay attention but this could be somebody too that wants to win something at all costs this could be an argument, too, where I feel like you could be arguing with somebody or disagreeing with them because of your ego, because you feel powerless or hopeless or like, you know, so be careful. But this Queen of Swords in reverse, you could be surrendering a situation around you, whatever this is over here that's not working out for you, because somebody here is just like, they can't give you what it is that you want because their their opinions of somebody, somebody could be gossiping, too. 
this this queen of swords in reverse gives bad advice they could be very like spiteful very revengeful i don't know but somebody's sad about it though this person is sad this queen of swords is sad they could be the ones that could have left or you somebody here that you was dealing with leo could have left the queen of swords behind or is trying to leave them behind for you but now you've learned your lesson from this particular person that's trying to lead this person they shouldn't have had this person there in the first place or lied about it or took you know what i'm saying um advice or listen to them or whatever in the first fucking place you know and so now they didn't lost out on you and now this queen of swords is mad at you because it's like well shit that, but this is karma though because i feel like something was inevitable anyway you weren't even supposed to end up with somebody and this person here is mad at you because they weren't supposed to be with this particular person either it's a karmic cycle here it's like these y'all wasn't even supposed to be together y'all learned lessons from each other y'all did what you had to do and y'all are leaving each other alone but somebody's having a hard time for some of you grasping that this change they don't want to release this past person but this past person it wasn't even for you anyways you were sent as a catalyst for them to grow and change and either they grew and changed or they did not you know what i'm saying they i don't know what they do with this other person but that's what i'm that's what i'm getting here let me know if i'm right i don't know <laughs> but the two of cups the five of pentacles and the ten of swords yeah i feel like there's somebody here that you love or care about that really left you out in the cold and made you feel abandoned so you're having a hard time adjusting to anything new all right and it's hard yeah because of fear the devil with the hermit do some introspection do some introspection listen to your spirit guides here when fear crops up or creeps up here def definitely go within take some time to to do what you need to do to feel safe about moving forward or to you know to make the right decisions but don't let fear and you know shit ruin yeah because you got something coming in I feel like you're going to keep it quite quiet too yeah look ten of pentacles the chariot the seven of swords i feel like that's just strategic being quiet moving discreetly nine of cups four of wands two of cups there's a challenge here the chariot and the seven of swords it's a challenge it's something has to be done strategically for you to get to whatever this is all right, it's something, it's determination, it's willpower, it's drive, it's having confidence moving forward. It's something that's going to challenge you. It's going. It's something, there's a relationship that's going to challenge you to grow. It's going to build you up. But the, the circ, I feel like there's a circumstance. Yeah, three of pentacles, three of cups, the strength card, three of wands, queen of cups. Something is mirroring your past. You're going to have to distinguish if it's going to be, um, I feel like spirit, when this kind of situation comes, you just need to sit back and let things play out. Don't make any sudden decisions or moves, okay? I feel like spirit is going to show you what you need to do if you just listen and get out of your head. But let's move on, Leo, because <laughs> I'll shit. You see me trying to help you. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's somebody in your energy that you have a strong connection to that plays a lot of mind games. This person is very analytical. Mm, okay, for some of you, there is somebody. I keep getting there's a past person. I feel like you're done with their ass because they chose their fate. Just too much shit going on in stagnancy. Somebody made the wrong decision. They're getting bad karma anyways. You can't do shit with them. But then there's somebody else in your energy that you're just like, mm you're not too sure something about them is you're fearful they could be very logical they're very strategic they're very like this is a masculine energy they could have air in their chart somewhere it could be a cancer pisces sagittarius but spirit is telling you to have patience with it it's something like that where you're gonna have to have patience but this is a soulmate it's a divine partner and I feel like you learn from a past, you learn from somebody from your past. It's in this, this will of fortune in reverse, judgment in reverse. You learn from somebody from your past. But then you're going to have a situation that's going to come up or you're going to be dating somebody where it's like, 
you're going to be very guarded because it's like you're not used to whatever this is. You're used to probably running off emotions. Maybe I'm talking to a, a divine feminine. You're just like, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> like, so there's a need to kind of like compromise, right? Look at things. Don't make something out to be what you want it to be. You need to learn people and get to know people and understand their way of doing things, right? Don't just make a decision because it's like, oh, it's not working. And I feel like somebody is very lytical. You could be very... I say lytical. What the fuck is that? You could be very... This person could be very literal and very like... um blunt or something like that i feel like you could be too but you could be you could be a divine feminine you're more emotional <laughs> you could be more emotional you don't really take logical approaches to things so it's just like it's causing miscommunication or something <laughs> that's what i'm getting it's just you're just like mm, i don't know two of swords you're like eh, i don't like that but it could be just because two of swords the moon it could be fear that's closing you from closing your heart chakra it's blocking your heart chakra, rather. Temperance, you need to just stay balanced, okay? You need to be patient, okay? Learn who to be patient with and who not to, and who to move on from, okay? That's that's what I feel like you're learning. Who I just got that for? I did Taurus Aquarius, so maybe go watch both of them, those readings. Definitely for Aquarius. What's, what's this logical approach here? <laughs> what's logical approach? Okay, yeah, the page of swords in reverse. What logical approach with the page of swords in reverse? The four of wands, three of pentacles. Yeah, something requires like compromise to work together, to overcome challenges, maybe to be friends first for some of you. I feel like this is new. Same shit I got for Aquarius. Maybe, definitely go watch Aquarius. Go watch Aquarius, child. Yeah, look, Queen of Cups, King of Swords, you're more emotional. You're more emotional and this person is more logical, but I feel like y'all balance each other out. Y'all, that's the perfect balance. For some of you, you're turning your back on somebody that's, they could be more, they could be logical too. And, but their shit, they're, they're, they're lacking compromise though. That's the difference. It's going to be a difference between this person and somebody else. Okay. But I feel, yeah, Ace of Cups and the Eight of Cups here. Child, this, this transition is confusing, right? I feel the energy more so versus just, than just reading the cards. <laughs> Poor Leo. Let's see. Um, when I pull the four of wands, someone can have an Aries Venus, page of swords in reverse. This could be like anxiety creeping in, paranoia. Page of swords in reverse. That's like a plan or a strategy that didn't work. This could be a lot of gossip going on in a community. All right, I'm feeling that past energy now where somebody was playing mind games with you and shit like that. There's a third party that's gossiping and shit. Page of Swords in Reverse 2 is like... Somebody like being sarcastic or trying to be funny. This is player energy. You're the devil. I don't like them. Whoever this is, I don't like it. What's this Page of Swords in Reverse? Something here didn't work out. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Mm. There could be somebody here that you're not speaking to, Leo, like at all. You're not saying anything to them because their head won over their heart. <laughs> I feel like you're going to learn a difference. Somebody else around you could be logical too, but their head ain't going to win over their heart. There's going to be a balance. Yeah, the lovers, Page of Pentacles, you're going to be able to build off of a solid foundation with somebody. Or in another connection. Yeah, two of wands. Because it's coming in. King of Pentacles. The Emperor. Yeah, see what I'm saying? This person going to be masculine too. But they're going to be just very... They, you're going to understand better with this person. Yeah, look. And you're going to want to run away. <laughs> For some of you, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a story because of fear. And you're going to possibly want to self-sabotage. But it's something... You're not going to be able to run away from it. Seven of Swords, yeah, we got the Seven of Swords. I mean, the Empress and the Emperor right there. <laughs> that's because you're not used to real, Leo. You're used to this fake-ass shit right here that's coming up in this reading. You're not used to a real person. 
you stay in your head a lot too. You can have Libra somewhere in your chart, Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius. <laughs> I know I got all three air signs in my chart too and very, very um, important like planets. It's something that got you in your head. But yeah, there's somebody I feel like that you're not speaking to. That's a burden anyway. It's in a while. I feel like you walked away from this person. Something became too burdensome and I just feel like you stopped talking to them. Okay, that's that. that that's what I'm getting off that shit. But there could be like malicious gossip or somebody sending you like the evil eye. Somebody is like burden. They're burdensome. <laughs> Whatever this is. Yeah, the temperance, the... the uh, Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Sun. What's this Four of Wands right here? Somebody here took you for granted or whatever. What's the Four of Wands? Somebody's communication has been so burdensome. What's the Four of Wands? They don't know how to communicate or something. Yeah, the, yeah, you're manifesting more stability, more security. You're manifesting marriage or you've manifested. Whatever you've manifested... You should be proud of because you achieved it or you're achieving it right now. Something is manifesting. Okay, there's a lack. I mean, there's a um, clarity here. There's mental clarity that you have with the magician about a certain thing. What's the four of wands with the magician? Some of you guys are manifesting a new home. Okay, yeah, four of pentacles. Yeah, there you are again, the empress. Capricorn here with the four of pentacles. Four of Pentacles is like control, discipline. I feel like in this case, what's this Four of Pentacles right here? You've mastered control. You've mastered discipline. You've mastered, yeah. What's the Four of Pentacles? Some of you guys, yeah, Ace of Wands. Some of you guys are saving up for a new home. Okay, congrats in advance because I feel like you're manifesting it. You're going to get it. You're, you're saving, you're budgeting. Um, the Ace of Wands is, yeah, it's been a challenge for you to do this here. Or to hold back from somebody or to pull back from them. And I feel like you've mastered that. You've mastered something within yourself. This is why you're moving to the next level. I feel like something is a level up. But you just, you gotta have, you're gonna have to adapt. Okay, you're gonna have to really pay attention. Because your decision making right now is going to fucking probably affect the next few years of your life and some more shit. So just, you know, stay grounded, Leo. <laughs> okay, stay grounded. Don't be all within your ego, whatever. But, um... That Ace of Wands talks about accepting a challenge. <laughs> you know, you accepted the challenge to move forward in life. Because new levels, like I said, new devils. Like, what the fuck? You know? Um, what else was I getting to, uh, Spirit? Hmm, it's a lot here. Controlling, somebody controlling their desires, their impulsiveness, possibly. Okay, staying more grounded, not really, you know, not really opening up here, opening up just enough to move forward in a situation. But I feel like you've mastered something here, so it's it's on and popping. Okay, from here, yeah, look, Knight of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Wands. I mean, Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups. I mean. You're getting ready to fall in love with somebody. There's going to be a relationship. Give me a second, Leo. Okay, my bad, Leo. I had to get up and um go downstairs and get my package of shot. I got a lot of shit coming. So, yeah, where was we at? Um, There's new beginnings, just period. So, you need to embrace these new beginnings. And, you know, okay, we pulled the... Yeah, there, there's new love coming. There's a soulmate though ace of cups two of cups knight of wands i feel like it's going to be a very fun connection to very adventurous this person could be very fun you're gonna have fun with them definitely a soulmate connection for some of you this was somebody that was in and out of your life you're going to be moving away from them this knight of wands is looking away at, from the ace of cups so it's like there was somebody here that didn't really have intentions on settling down or whatever let me see who that Knight of Wands right there, Spirit, since I pulled it. Who this Knight of Wands? 
Who the Knight of Wands? I feel like that's just you too, where you need to like embrace having fun. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Yeah, who does Knight of Wands, Seven of Cups? Yeah, King of Cups <laughs> in reverse. Somebody that's emotionally unavailable. Somebody that's emotionally unavailable here, literally. That's depressed, that's closed off or um, moody. Or they could have been married too for some of you. Yeah, that caused a lot of confusion. Okay, I just wanted to see who that was. We're not going to leave that ratchet ass out here. <laughs> okay, 11.55 with the clock. What's unplug here? Disconnecting. I don't like how that came out. Five of Wands. Hmm. Okay, there could be drama going on online. That's why you're offline for some of you. Or it don't even have to be that. It's just like it's too much shit going on. Social media is a mess anyway. It's a mess anyway. Yeah, look. The Emperor of Nine of Cups. Page of Cups here. Knight of Cups. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Or you could going to be dating a Pisces or something. There's somebody new coming in. Or they already here. But what's unplugged? Yeah, but yeah, social media is messy. So, I mean, it's good that you off that hoe anyway, for some of you. <laughs> page of Pentacles. What's unplugged with the Page of Pentacles? Some of you guys work online. The Justice. Okay. Somebody here could be a tarot reader, or you could work in, like, divination. But I feel like there's going to be a new solid beginning for you. There's an opportunity that you're needing to jump into. Okay, this could be good news, a raise, a promotion. When it comes down to your work, your money. <laughs> Some of y'all could be getting good news from a court situation, but I see more balance and things being fair and just, things working out in your favor. Good karma. All right, let's see. There's an offer. What's this page of pentacles? Okay, yeah, eight of wands. Something moving forward swiftly in a positive direction. Something about your work could be taken off here. Some of y'all could be moving or you move around a lot for work or you do something with communication. What's the Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands? There's an offer. Okay, Seven of Swords. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay, so... This page of Pentacles is planning and strategizing. So somebody here could be trying to strategize or plan. They're trying to find the right opportunity to say something. They're trying to jump in that opportunity to say something to you. But I feel like they're being strategic about it. They could be lying about something. <laughs> Someone could have an Aquarius moon, Sagittarius Mercury. Or there's, there's a newfound, a solid foundation being built between you and someone, but there's a need to, yeah, like stay low key about it. Keep it real cool. Okay. Cause there needs to be maybe some strategy to this here, but I don't feel like it's a bad strategy possibly. I just feel like it's, you want to keep things low key and you want your business to be your business. What's this seven of swords? Cause the page of pentacles is loyalty. You can depend on them. They're reliable. But what's that seven of swords right there, spirit? Oh, this is how somebody gonna make it seem okay yeah the chariot yeah three of cups mm -hmm. the king of wands the sun so yeah what's the seven of swords of chariot give me more you can be dealing with a cancer okay page of wands in reverse yeah um There's communication from somebody that I feel like you, like I said, page of swords in reverse, you've disconnected this from this person and now they're burdened. For some of you, that's, they, that, that's their energy. They're coming back. All right. They're going to come back with a new plan, a new strategy because you've limited the distractions. You've kind of like pulled your energy back. They were a distraction for you. Whoever this is and you've gone MIA. So now they're going to try to figure out a way to get you back, right? With some sort of communication or an offer. They could be coming with a gift even for some of you with the... Page of Pentacles. I feel like they're trying to escape something or get away from something. There are some sort of challenges they're facing. Okay. Page of Wands in reverse. Is something something about their behavior is going to be predictable? <clears throat> yeah. They could be trying to get away from someone that's starting drama. They're starting mess here. Somebody's like loud. When they don't get their way, they throw tantrums. They get upset. Somebody here too has a lot of inner child healing to do. So I don't know who this is, but you need to, I feel like they're coming and they're shape-shifting. <laughs> okay. They're shape-shifting here. 
So they're trying to find any little indication from you or any little thing to, to figure out if you're open to them, if you're going to be open to them or whatever the fuck. So you need to watch out for that. I don't, I don't like that energy. And they're coming with nothing. Especially like, because usually I see the Page of Pentacles as, you know, something little, something small. It's okay if somebody's offering you something small, but they, they got other shit to make up for it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you're not really being breadcrumb, but they might not be able to give you too, too, too much or everything that you want right now, right now. Just like on a realistic sense, like they, they could be, they have a job, but they're not making much, even though, you know, that's probably not a good example. Or they can't take you out every weekend, but they could, y'all can hit little spots or whatever. Like they might not have the, yeah, I mean, that's a good example. Maybe the best job where they might not have the best pay, but they're giving you loyalty, commitment, consistency, persistence. Like they're, they're being dedicated. They're ambitious. They're not a bum. They, they're actively looking for better or doing better. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's important for you to know who to fucking give your time to and who not. Just period. So, you know, I don't... I don't like it, but what's the justice? <laughs> what's the justice? So there's like communication or, yeah, look, Queen of Cups in reverse. What's this justice with this Queen of Cups in reverse? Somebody, yeah, the Hermit. Somebody could be under investigation for something. Ace of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Mm -hmm. that's what's coming in here um for some of you this is this new person right they're going through something i feel like there's two separate energies there's somebody here i keep picking that up we're gonna pull some other cards now because i feel like i'm repeating myself <laughs> um justice is here there's truth and clarity for some of you somebody around you is telling you the truth about somebody that they're dealing with so now there's a strategy being put in place there's a foundation being built and you and this person are moving secretly this could be somebody new for some of you yeah destiny mm. this could be somebody new yeah where you and this person have some sort of vision but they could have somebody that's quite spiteful around them. Like I said, something about this past past person situation is going to mirror this other person. But the, the good thing about it is they're going to be honest with you. And they're making moves. There's challenges. So I guess it's just going to be up to you. The challenge is getting around this fucking whoever it is that's around them. Yeah, yes, absolutely. And new beginnings, great source of power. Look. It's something about this new beginning that is, yeah, divine feminine, feminine destiny, visionary. It's something about this new beginning that's going to scare you. It's going to like, I don't know, but I feel like there's a lesson to learn from it. Or this could be that your actual like person. But you're going to have to... It's going to be more so of things being taken care of, like a lot of movement, a lot of getting things handled. So that way the foundation could be laid for y'all to have the little things and do the little things that y'all want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like it's something like that. This person, for some of y'all picking up, if this is a new person, they could be getting a new job, a raise, a promotion, and things are getting ready to take off for them. You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments if I'm giving you clarity about this <laughs> let me know in the comments okay and then there's this past person they i mean they've been had issues that they've probably been lying to you about and every fucking thing else so that's why i'm kind of like not getting anything bad over there i'm getting more so of it's just crunch time. It's, if you want a foundation with somebody, they're going to have to do what they have to do to get out of a situation that they're in. It could be their money. Um, they could just be facing certain changes and difficulties and whatever. Let's see those spirit. Give me some clarity <clears throat> so I can get off here. Because...
third party situation. Yeah, there's a cancer there, so there could be a cancer. For some of you, that's this karmic masculine that is that wants to come back after they didn't set up here and delayed this process dealing with this hoe. They could be trying to come back and after they didn't lie and broke your heart and hurt you and beat you down to the fucking ground, they could be trying to come back. So that could be them or this could be a new situation. Flip, flip the road. You'll be able to tell who's who, I feel. But yeah, third party situation, main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of the relationship, feeling betrayed and second guessing self-worth. Yeah, I feel like that's how this person made you feel. Like, they they wasn't even honest about the fact that somebody around them was trying to sabotage them or they still in love with them or whatever the fuck. Yeah, wordless and ghosted. This is somebody you're not talking to. That's that page of swords in reverse. You're not speaking to this person. 1202, that's my second time seeing it. I saw it on the clock and didn't say it. Now I saw it on the timer. So 1202 could be significant. 202 could be significant. Okay, let's see. Help. Yeah, victim mentality. Feels stuck and has a negative attitude. Thinks life is against them and has difficulty coping. Believes they have no control over things that happen to them and blames others. <laughs> That's gonna be the difference here. If you do are you if you do if you do deal with somebody new and they have an issue around a baby mama, baby daddy, or something like that, they handling it. And they ain't gonna fucking lead you astray. They're gonna be honest. So they they're gonna give you room to make your own decisions. So you do what you will with that, right? But somebody here is childish. They don't want to work their way out of something. Yeah, fragmenting, fragmentation of the soul. Significant drama from the past. Irrational, unexplained fears. Checking out in certain situations. Overreactions to seemingly small problems. Hmm. What else? Self-love here. Learning to forgive oneself and others. Healing from inner child with shadow work. Recognizing the triggers that has affected them from moving forward. Yeah, I feel like that's you. That's what you're doing. What else? I want to clarify some shit. <laughs> Outer turmoil. Yeah, somebody going through it. Battles, arguments, and unnecessary conflicts. Feels their world is falling apart literally physical world filled with chaos and confusion there could be a mother here under investigation for something or there's a mother figure around you or this your this old person and this new person or actually your own mother acting a damn fool what else hmm no but maybe later okay we're gonna see what that is let's see what is this fragmentation of the soul? Something is very... Okay. Great source of power. The dream team of change. Highly influential and in agents of change. Reunion creates exponen exponential growth. Somebody here could be married. I'm also getting reunion within yourself, okay? Reunion within yourself. But you guys could be reuniting with a past life person that you haven't met yet, okay? It's just the energy. It's in the energy. It's contracted for you to meet somebody. And you could be having, um, you could be scared. Yeah, the vision is being created, though. And then Cancer here may be leaning towards, yes, divine timing. So something... For some of you, there's a, uh, there's a, there's somebody you're dealing with that's new that has a cancer around them that is sneaky and conniving and whatever the fuck else. They could be going through something too. I just want to say, like, it feels like that. They're going through something. I feel a new energy. But you and this person have the potential to move forward, Pat, like a lot of it, actually. It says great source of power, the dream team of change. So this person is creating change right now and so are you. You know what I'm saying? It's something like that. Yeah, soulmate. Intuition. Breaking barriers. Yeah, that, that's that's new. They're going to challenge you. You're going to challenge them. What's this fragmentation of the soul with great source of power? A distance. For some of you, you could have moved and met this person. 
Yeah, it's significant drama from the past that's going to push you and this person forward. Some of y'all could be moving. Okay, you and this person could be thinking about moving, relocating, or something like that. Something is going to change, though. Taurus, could be dealing with Taurus, Capricorn. It says, separated by states, countries, continents, and oceans, could have met in unusual circumstances while traveling or in an airport or at an at a train station so you met this person on your travels here i don't know why i still feel like that's new but let me know in the comments child yeah mirroring nature <laughs> in separation karmic partners fulfilled yeah it's something it's something similar very similar very similar what's this out of turmoil what is that attached okay yeah family ties and tumultuous lives i feel like that's who this is over here dealing with this shit because i feel like they handled it wrong they lied to you and now they're they still trying to sneak around and get get out of working through the process of getting out of his fucking relationship with a karmic instead they're like lying and they're, they're making everything so much worse than what it has to be if they just told the truth they don't they're not even giving you room to fucking make a decision on your own about them you know when it says attached afraid of the unknown Karmic ties and responsibilities in a committed relationship with someone else. Yeah, what is outer turmoil with attached reinvention? Hmm. Metamorphosis of mind and spirit, changing oneself into something better, working on shadow aspect and becoming aware of strengths and weaknesses. Give me more on outer turmoil. Unsent messages. Won't admit their true feelings. Thinks about reaching out, but is apprehensive and then does not. Types up messages or picks up the phone, but never hits send or dial. So that's somebody that you're not talking to. And you could be reinventing yourself. That's causing a tower for them. Because they didn't lie. They fucking lie. Now their marriage and all this shit is falling apart. They lie here. What's attached? 12, 12, 1 o'clock. What's attached here? Union and in sync. Mm. working in perfect rhythm with each other feeling seen heard valued, respected and cherished fully present with that person mind body and spirit yeah then we have magical and powerful new beginnings and alignment give me more on this attached right here with this union and in sync masquerading yeah this person yeah, regret. They were deceit behind that twin flame. For some of you, this is your twin. It doesn't have to be for, for others of you. But it says attempts to conceal their feelings once again and their authentic intentions feels powerless and may resort to lying to gain greater control over their environment. Yeah, this is the person that's having outer turmoil because they're married. They're committed to something else. They're committed to something else. Like they really got a big soul tie over there. So... And they don't want to, they see you reinventing yourself. So they don't know how to approach you now. That's what you need to watch out for. That's that person you need to watch out for here. Yeah, charismatic, Casanova, runner, Gemini. It could be a Gemini involved, Libra. Child, what is this no, but maybe later? What is that? Scorpio. So it says the plus side is intuitive, resourceful, passionate, loyal, smart, fearless, mystic, and stoic. And then we have negatives. The negatives are manipulative, cold, vengeful, rude, power hungry, jealous, and trust issues. What's no, but maybe later. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, past life. Intuitive and telepathic communication. Time seems to stop in each other's presence. Instant connection and deep emotions. Feels very familiar with each other. What else? For Nova, maybe later. Future focus. Okay, Taurus. Could be done with a Taurus. Cosmic love. Sagittarius. <clears throat> Strong sense of self and feeling hopeful. Awakening and being aligned with connection. Positive outlook on life and focusing on the future. So something requires your patience. What else would this no, but maybe later? Telepathic. Random thoughts and intense feelings. Yeah, we have an unawakened person here and a divine masculine. If you're a divine masculine, you're awakened. There's somebody else that's unawakened. 
So when you're awakened, you can make changes, right? Just because you're awakened does not mean your life is perfect. Your life is not going to be perfect, just period. So there could be a divine masculine in your energy, or you could be the divine masculine. Flip it, switch it. You're awakening, and somebody else is not, especially if this is a twin. And then you have maybe if you're a woman, a divine feminine, female, or man, you know, flip the roles, just energy. You're awakened. And you're meeting somebody that's awakening too. And they're, they're going through changes. But the, the difference between this person and that other person is that they're actually working though, whoever this is. So you're going to have to, I feel like you're going to have to make a decision. You are. You are. Somebody has clarity of focus, generosity of heart, powerful presence, undaunted ambition, discipline, largeness of mind, risk-taking, assertiveness, strength of body and resolve, fiercely protective instinct and action oriented. Yeah, you're going to be able to tell the difference between two people, uh, this past person and this other one. Because I'm definitely getting that here, child. What's, what else for this no, but maybe later? Give me another card so I can go. I know I gotta, I gotta merge these two videos together now since I split them up. What's the nose with Envy later? Okay, yeah. Magical Muse. A great source of artistic inspiration and beyond. A lover, a friendly infatuation, or maybe a stranger that one never speaks to. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, new beginning, rebuilding, naughty thoughts, twin flame, deceit, regret. You're, whoever the twin flame is, if you have one, they asses, stay on some other shit. I feel like that's them over here. But there, there's somebody else, Leo, that I feel like you're going to be mm, bringing into your energy. <laughs> okay, because I feel like you and this person are going to have a past life connection. Y'all going to have telepathic communication with each other. And you're going to be really focused on the future with them. But I don't feel like something's going to take off as fast as you want it to, though. You know, it's not a definitely, not a definite no, but it maybe later. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, later it's going to take off. But uh, mm -hmm. So I feel like Spirit is telling you to just transmute all this shit and put it into your fucking work. <laughs> okay, use it as a source of inspiration. Focus on your craft. Focus on building something new for yourself. Like, this person could be around you too. Or y'all with this person currently. Excuse me. Y'all with them currently? They could be a complete stranger. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They knew. And, but they could be around you. Like, maybe you've seen this person in passing, but y'all ain't never said shit to each other until now or whenever you want to meet each other. It's something like that. So... I don't know, Leo. Let me know in the comments, though, what's going on. Okay, like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.